everyone it has been a while since i have been on here to share things with y'all to update things um on my vlog channels of any kind i have recently been going through a huge health struggle um more than i have in general um it's still kind of hard to talk about um that's partly why i haven't been doing any titus 2 videos any vlogging Everything has been um, on my phone through Instagram stories or Facebook stories. So if y'all want to follow me on my Instagram, I can try to put a link here or in the description bar below at my Facebook page. <clears throat> so y'all can follow more regular. It's just easier when I'm in and out of doctors and everything I'm doing to update y'all on that. Um, it's been a while, I know, since I've been here. But um, over... Y'all all know basically about the eye issue I've been having and dealing with, but now we know more of what it is, what's going on, why is it going on. Um, it's not good. It's not, um, it's just very raw and emotional feelings right now. Um, I just got word earlier today about other issues. Um, and that is why I figured I'd go ahead and share and why I've not been on social media that much, um, at least on my YouTube channels. So with the eye issues and all that, this may or may not be like a five minute video. I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead and just tell y'all what's going on and go ahead and upload it on my YouTube channels, probably all three of them. So everyone can be updated. Um, so I am slowly losing eyesight in the right eye. Um, my eyesight has gotten very terrible. Um, I am back to wearing my glasses. In fact, I just went this week, or end of last week, to go back and get um, a new eye prescription because of how bad my eye has gotten. Um, trying to hold it together, guys. Um, it's been a very raw, emotional day. Um, hearing even more of what's going on. Um, and diagnosis, treatment plans potentially so I may or may not cry in this video I don't know but if I do you know why anyway I'm sorry but um so yeah I'm sorry something happened um <clears throat> over the last week and a half well probably since middle of May, sorry I was looking at my calendar, middle of May, off and on, except the last two weeks, last week especially, I have been dealing with sharp pains all over my body, um, in the muscles, in the bones, just everywhere, feeling kind of like a flu symptoms, how you're just achy, you're sore, everything just feels tight, congested, um, sharp pains everywhere. So, and the eyesight's been getting worse. The numb, tingling paralysis in my face um, from here over has gotten more severe again. So I contacted my Kaiser doctors again and told them what's been going on. They referred me out to a fifth eye specialist again. Had her read all of my charts, documents, everything, and realized that... Um, I have potentially need to go in for another MRI to check behind the eye and the brain, all that stuff, right? Um, so this would, ha would be my third MRI. I had one January, I had one in March, and then now, which is June. I had it done on Thursday last week. Yeah, last week, Thursday last week. Doctor calls me on Saturday, a couple days ago. I've been on the phone with the doctor last three days, Saturday, Sunday, and today. Um, we know the nerve issues. We don't know. We didn't know anything until the last couple of days um, when things and prognosis and issues finally started appearing on the um, MRI scans. The one back in March was considered normal, but slight abnormalities if I'm saying that right so with the eyesight getting worse 
Thursday I had scheduled the MRI, or they scheduled it for me. And then I went outside of my Kaiser and had the doctor, the regular optimal, or op optometrist, check my eye vision again to see how bad the vision has gotten since I seen him back in January. Well, it has decreased from 2020 down to 20. 40 something I forget but it's, it was terrible <sniffs> when we sat through everything did all the all the stuff there at the eye doctor and everything um he said um let me go ahead and check in your eyes now with the light let me put a yellow color dye in there and let's check that as well and I said okay um I didn't want to get dilated again I didn't want to do the other two tests because that's all I've done since January is Kaiser after Kaiser week after week after week after week month after month after month um going in eye scans eye this eye pressure eye glaucoma testing for that testing for anything and everything under the sun everything is coming back oh you're fine everything's good we can't figure out what's going on until this last reading long story short I guess sort of I have already have lupus. Um, I know y'all are aware of that, which is autoimmune. But this MRI showed that, okay, so I, I did the MRI. So I'll go ahead and tell you I did the MRI. I didn't know anything until Saturday at um, 1130 in the morning from the MRI results. From the eye doctor I saw in the afternoon on Thursday this last week. Um... After all, he's looking at everything, and he looks in my eyes, and he said, there's something strange going on. Let me put a yellow dye in there, put a blue light in your eye, shine a blue light from the contrast from there, which turns everything green, yellow and blue mix green. So in my vision, things look green, greenish blue. His vision, same thing, but it picks up different abnormalities. And the right eye is a huge eye infection. Kaiser is missing all this, okay? It's driving me insanity. Left eye, he checks. Same thing. Left eye. Oh, um, you have a slight infection in the left eye. Is your left eye in pain? Is it pressure? Or are you having vision issues? I'm like, not really, no. I mean, I mean, if I am, I'm not even noticing it because everything is usually cut in half. Literally, from here over, I'm having all these issues, you know? Um... <clears throat> So he's like, okay, well, uh, I'm kind of leery of whether to give you um, prescription antibiotics right now or wait till your MRI results come back. But I'm assuming your MRI results are going to come back and I don't think it's going to look that good. So when he said that, of course, I'm like, yeah, yeah, well, th they've already, they keep coming back and everything looks good. So why wouldn't they now, you know? Um, granted, my symptoms have been getting worse since March, the last MRI. Um, the last time I saw the doctor was in April, so I had all of May. I didn't really see Kaiser doctors for my eye at all. I've had multiple other um, laboratory work and, done and things of that sort, but not an actual eye scans or field tests or any of that that I had done. So basically, I've had almost two months of break of um, testing, so to say, outside of labs. So in my brain, I'm like, yeah, well... I just did the, the scan this morning. They told me I probably won't have any readings to the next 24 to 48 hours. Well, the next day, they call me. Or no, two two days ago. Yeah, two days. Two days later, which was Saturday, they call me. And they say, um, this is not looking good. Um, there's several things going on. Um, and I'm like, okay, what the heck's going on? What are y'all finally seeing, you know? So... Um, they see the infection in the eye, um, in the eye, but they see it, okay, so bilateral is both sides of the face, or, or I think is the word she used. So she's like, well, we're finding everything basically equal in your face, but yet I'm not having true symptoms on my left side of the face, so why am I not, you know? Um, again, my lupus, it acts wacky doodles, um... Along with this other issues I've got going on. So they said, okay, so we see the infection. It's in your eye and in behind your eye as well, close to your optic nerve. So that potentially could cause the nerve damage, nerve issues. But it's in the left eye. You have an infection 
starting, but it's very mild in the left eye. And I said, okay, yeah, I understand. Um, my other doctor, so-and-so, put me on um, prescription eye antibiotic slash steroid eye drops for this next week. I go back and see him on Thursday this week um, in a few days. But they said, but that's not all. And I'm like, oh, great. Then she says, okay, so the nerve issues I've had in the eye with the, the pressure feeling, the blindness, the, um, the facial paralysis, um, the numbness, the tingling, all that that I've been dealing with. She says it's showing up finally as true permanent nerve damage, but I have nerve damage starting in the left eye. So I'm like, this is not making sense. Why am I not feeling anything on my left side of my body? I don't get it. Maybe I will soon. I don't know. She said again, that's not all. I'm like, what else could there be? This is not making sense. Okay, finally I'm getting answers. Finally this. Okay, it's taking forever. Okay, but what next? <sighs> this is where it gets very irritating. And this is all I know from Saturday, okay? Then she calls me Sunday. Then she calls me today. Today is the more interesting news. So... Sunday basically is the other doctor calling me, kind of reiterating everything from Saturday. But potentially, what else we need to do for treatment plans? This is who they have to talk to. This is who they have to get involved. Rheum rheumatologists, <sighs> neurologists. My regular primary care needs to be knowing about all this. So she needs to get involved. So as of today, that's who got involved. That's who's talking to me. Um, because I also have cancer in the eye toward the optic nerve, part of the edge of the optic nerve that attaches from the eye and the optic nerve that goes in the brain is um, has cancer. But the cancer, okay, I'm trying to show you, is, okay, here's the bad eye. But it's from here, and it has this huge shape all the way underneath. This is how big the, the band of the cancer that they're seeing. Um, and it's attacking the left eye, too. So I'm like, okay... But what's causing all this? Why we didn't find anything back in January or in March when I've had all these scans done and all of my labs. Okay, are y'all not testing for cancer? Are you not testing for any of this? Well, they're like, well, no, we haven't. Um, I'm like, okay, but again, this isn't making sense to me. Um, so she's like, okay, so we need to get a hold of... All the other doctors. So that's who called me Sunday morning on the way to church. And she was like, okay, so we need to talk to so-and-so, 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 so-and-so. Get them involved. Get your doctor involved. I need you to have a phone consult with your primary care tomorrow, first thing in the morning. Yada, 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 yada. So then it comes down to today. And my doctor calls this afternoon. After she rereads all the rest of the radiologist's notes from the MRI, which the other two people failed to tell me. Everything. They didn't finish scrolling down and reading everything. So, going on with everything I said, basically she repeats the same thing. Then she says, oh, great. Your, room and your, your radiologist is also saying, with, again, the amount of pain I've been in all over my body, waking up in the middle of the night in excruciating pain, I can't even sleep, move, nothing. But just cry. Cry my eyes out. Um, I'm just sharp, stabbing pains, no fun. All over. Everywhere. 24-7. <sighs> um, so she's like, what they also have written down, the radiologist wrote in her notes, was you have MS, multiple sclerosis. So not only do I have lupus, the MCTD version, um, mixed connective tissue disorder is now I'm diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, which means I have to go see a rheumatology and neurology because scleral, um, MS is your body attacks nerves and muscles. And what have I been in most pain with? My nerves and my muscles. Um, I am just turning 32 years old next month. And this is a pain in the butt to deal with. To handle. To try to overcome. To truly understand what the Lord is doing in my life. 
Um, my health has always been an issue. I've told you guys this a million times. Um, it's getting a little trickier um, to deal with, to handle, to take a step back and not be able to go and do as much as I want to go and do. Um, the last two weeks I have l um, dealing with other family um, stress and um, other issues. But um, just getting out, trying to go on my walks, I've been doing my two and a half miles plus two and a half, four or five, five and a half, whatever it is, I can't calculate. <laughs> Uh, every day for two weeks except Sundays because um, we're gone at church all day. Um, I have been doing those walks consistently to get me out of the house, to get my brain to quit focusing, um, listening to podcasts, listening to Bible on tape, listening to whatever else I can think of, um, music, whatever, um, talking to other people, reaching out to some other friends of ours. Our pastors are involved now. Uh, at least one of them is aware of what's going on. Um, our other pastor is out of town. Um, but he'll know shortly of what's going on as well. Um, it's just a lot to deal with, a lot to handle, a lot to take in. Um, Peter's trying to, I guess, take it in. I don't, I don't know. He's, he's not a man of many words. Um, he keeps his feelings to himself a lot. Um, he did tell me when, when I got home tonight, um, actually he's out on his walk and doing a couple errands and picking up some more Tylenol for me. But, um. He was just holding me and, and, and was telling me that he loves me and stuff and um, just do whatever I can. And I'm seeking natural doctors. Um, I think I told you all before. Um, and so um, I talked to him today. He called back later this afternoon, actually after my other Kaiser doctor had um, reached out to me and um, was telling me uh, a couple treatment plans that we can try to help with my cancer. Because Kaiser is saying that technically I could do chemo. We could start chemo, but yet, um, with autoimmune, chemo basically will kill you sooner than the actual cancer will. Um, and so I told her I'm not willing to go that route right now. Um, I am seeking natural, um, um, homeopathic or, um, naturopathic care. Um, and so she wants me to, um, keep her informed of that as well what they may potentially have me on which is apricot seeds um is one of them it's it's very high potency i guess i'm trying to still research that um i haven't tried anything or gotten on anything yet um i'm still doing research myself um and they get on some pancreatic enzymes is another one that is supposed to help as well um anyway so it's just a couple other treatment laser treatments since i can't do acupuncture but I can do the laser treatment, and so um, we're going to try to start doing that more frequently as well. Again, this is paying everything out of my pocket. Um, it, it's very hard because seeking um, natural care is not covered by insurance at all. I am having to pay self-pay, which of course I'm not working. Peter is, um, but of course it's summertime, so it's it's we're we're dealing with a lot. Um, Anyway, this is going on 15, 16 minutes now. But anyway, that's kind of where I am for now. Um, no treatment has been started yet um, on any of this. Um, but I'm getting answers of the why, the eye issue. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. Um, when I had the outbreak of my fever blister, herpes virus back in December and I had the fever blister here which is directly above the eye it just shot straight up and started attacking the eye um I didn't have the cancer at that point um at least nothing's been diagnosed until Thursday when they finally can see things on MRI so anyway that is kind of what's going on for now um with health issues um I've not been on any of my um YouTube channels in quite a while um, but I think I'm just going to post this um, for all of y'all to see on all of my channels um, and in each description bar or even on the video here even at the end. Um, if y'all want to follow me on my Instagram for health reasons or whatnot, um, be my guest. Um, my Facebook, I'm a little more lenient on who I accept and not accept um, or cautious, not lenient, but more cautious. Um, 
But anyway, so that's kind of the update. Um, I'll keep you posted the best I can. I will try to get back into my studies um, if I can. Um, it's just been a roller coaster of emotions. Um, doctors like insanity. Um, and then not knowing how these treatment plans will work. How is the cancer going to take effect of me? Um, the multiple sclerosis, things of that sorts as well. Um, how fast has this been growing? Why have things not been picked up from March till now? Why everything's just bam, it's there. But my body's been experiencing all these symptoms for all these months. Um, but again, with lupus, my body's in high, high, high alert 24 7. It's very, very, um, what's the word? Um, over protective, over crazy. Um, so any little change of any little thing, my body's like, ah, attack it, you know? So I'll leave y'all there for now. I will go ahead and just, um, put this raw open video up on my channel. Um, all of them for y'all. So, um, I'm sorry if it's just duplicated everywhere, but I just want to make a one video and just, and just share with y'all. So thanks for watching. Um, subscribe to continue following along. Um, I will try to pick up the vlog camera a little bit more. It has been quite a while. I don't even know, uh, maybe what a month now, probably at least two, three weeks since I've posted a regular vlog, my cooking channel, I've not posted anything. So sorry about that. And as for my Titus two channel, again, I've not been doing any of that either. Um, it's hard posting, um, and continuing with everything going on right now. Um, I don't, I don't have much time to myself, um, Right now with everything I'm going through, doctors, tests, now trying to figure out plans, treatment plans, um, and just dealing with what I've got. And just asking the Lord for grace and strength um, to continue to be able to carry on and um, not to get down and depressed, um, which I kind of have come to that a little bit here and there when I'm in just so much pain. I'm not even being able to sleep and my adrenals are still off, so I'm still on my other supplements, so I've not gotten off of those, but I've added other other things to it over the last um, week or two, or week really, um, to help out. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and I will get um, back to y'all um, and keep you posted. All right, thanks everyone. Bye.